Could you look at that? We're getting some more rain. Great. We definitely need that stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go get some cows in. I think I might as well take the ute today. I don't feel like getting wet. So you did another nine mils out of the rain gauge this morning. Uh, seven was from last night. We had another two overnight. And we're getting a small shower coming through now. Right, well, got my little passenger here. We'll go find some cows. They're not too far down. They didn't get that silage paddock. Like, it couldn't be helped. The girls have got another two nights in this paddock. Yeah, they've got no choice. Yeah, they ate it down well, actually. It's going to come away well with this rain on it. <laughs> As you can see there, the girls are not in the biggest hurry. Some of them haven't even gotten out of bed yet. <laughs> oh, well, we better get in there to uh, help them along. Not the biggest of hurries at the moment. Which is good. We don't want them to rush anyway. They'll only get sore feet. Good, how are you doing? That's how are you again? Girls are milking well. We got two double ups in the first row, giving us 24 cows. It's all right. We got a um, cow's lake and milk too. Shows they're milking well. And they're pretty full after last night's feed. They're pretty happy. Open uh, up. Awesome. All right, well, let's keep milking them. First row and the first bull's out. Just there. Yeah, we couldn't get all, <laughs> couldn't get them out because uh, Dad had just arrived when I locked them in the yard, so that's all right. We'll get them out as they come to the back. Yep, we definitely need this rain. Oh, the balls are here. That's two rows down, two balls out. One to go. I tried, nearly got them, and the bugger just run off. It's through the cows. I can see him now. There he is. Right there. Oh, doing there job. we go, see? Look at an idiot, the gates are wide open. And he walked back up with the cows. Dad had to bring him out. Ah, oh, yep. Little 13 just waits there. Knows it's time to come in. She'll get a meal and she'll get put back out in that paddock. Awesome. Easy peasy. Good work, Dad. Good work. Oh. Grass. Right. Let's go cup some cows. Last row coming. Good girls. Come on. Pop. Push her up. Come on. Come on. Right, that's another successful milking. Tank is here. We're gonna see how much we send. The cows are just walking down. So we've got a bit of time. Just wait around. Dad's finished washing the yard. I am gonna shave my mow. I just don't have a razor. Chucked the last razor out last week. <laughs> yeah, so that's a week's growth. There he is, little tanker. Let's see how much we send. Like this, and we'll go and take the generator off the tractor. So we had perfect power this morning. All hung up. Let's go take this generator off. Just like that. They're all done now. Thank you. Just waiting. Just letting his uh, computers reset. So, uh, all good. We are going to go lock the cows away now and shift this fence so that we go into another third. All good. Let's go shift this fence and go lock the cows away. Paddock is 20 posts long on this side. So we go seven first day, seven the second day, and six on the last day because they'll back graze on the last day. There is a lot of grass in here, a lot of nice clover. As you see, the cows are demolishing it, so it's 
good. It's better to use it and then not run out of grass later. Always, we can always get silage later by the look of how the season's turning out. If we get some nice sunshine, we'll get some great grass growth. So it'll come back. Pay us dividends. Our fence all set up. And the girls have got heaps of grass. No, they're happy. They're putting it in the vat. Um, I'm not sure how much we've sent. We'll find out in a minute when we get back to the cow shed. I told you all that we had a high sabbatic. We we're sitting around that 200,000, 150 to 200,000 mark. Uh, we got rid of that one cow. Our sabbatics have dropped down to 150,000. And we actually started treating another cow for mastitis who was meant to go on Monday but we sent the other cow instead because she was okay and this other one has actually got mastitis now so that one that's got mastitis she will be going next monday but yeah with her out of the vat those two gone out of the vat our somatic cell count has dropped back down to a hundred and six thousand and we've got another cow that we've just found this morning who we've treated for mastitis as, as well those are our three problem cows that we've been having all three of them have had mastitis at least twice. Now they've had it three times, so it's time for them to go. We are gonna get rid of them. Um, possibly send the two on Monday, but we'll have to see how the Jersey goes because the Jersey one is sick at the moment and the freezer one is coming right. Uh, her last possible treatment will be Friday morning. If Friday morning goes ahead and she gets treated and it works, She'll be going on truck on Monday, but if it doesn't work and we have to treat her on Saturday, she won't be able to make it. Because there is a three day meat withholding. You get all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, that's three days. They're on the truck Monday morning. They're at the sales. By the time they go through the sale yards, three days meat withholding, they'll be sweet as. So yeah, that's uh, how it is. As you can see there, the tanker is still there. He has just updated his system. He sounds like it's just unloading now. He's just sucking out of the vat. So we'll see what we got, and then we'll go and hypo the shed. There he goes. Got him. Right, what are we seeing today, Dad? 5113. 51.13, not too bad. It's high pulling now, beauty. Well, I'll see you all at milking tonight. Afternoon, everybody. There he goes. He's off to go get the cows in. And we are just washing the back at the moment. Ready? Well, let's set up the cow shed. Get ready for some cows. Uh, Dad's just bringing the girls in. He's just passing panic number five. Closing in. Alright, we've got uh, Second row here, ready to cup up. Let's get a move on. Afternoon. Yeah, there's my little mate there, just lazing in the sun. Great to be a rabbit. Hey girls, how are we doing? Bend your pup, out of way. Go on, ladies, up we go. Come on, that's good, buddy. Yeah, yes, I can see you. There you are. Come on, buddy. That's good, boys. Yeah. Dad just about beat me. I got the row out before uh, before I got the bulls here. Come on. Dad always leaves those two ones a day cows behind. Right, come boys. How are we doing? How we doing? Going all right? Nice sun today. Yeah, beautiful weather. Yeah, it's a great day today. Have nice sunny weather. Just relax back at home. I did a few chores around the house which you need to do after I did the uh, hypo spraying. Awesome. Oh, can move on. Great bay. Great bay. Time to go. Good girl. Gates are open. Come on. He's spraying up.
How are we doing, Dad? Oh, good. Has the way been a good day? Beautiful day. Oh, cracker, we'll get some good grass growth. Yep, that's all right. You definitely need it. Come on, Joe's heading out. Dad's just washing up the cups there. And we got visitors. Hey, Munchkin. Hey, Tessa. Hey, Dallas. Hey. Hey, Pike. Yeah. We going? Good? How's it going, are they? <laughs> Awesome. We're off to go lock some cows away, aren't we? Yeah. How many? Lots of them. Okay, let's go. Arrow. Out of the way. Okay, good girl. Thank you, Mackenzie. Right. Yep. Right, Dallas, start the motorbike. Let's see. Right, let's go. Let's go. Just driving through, looking for Mackenzie and Dallas's cow. Yeah. Can we see them yet? Mackenzie, where are you? There you are. Hello. Hello. I see Mackenzie cow. Straight ahead. Here's Mackenzie. Help as well. Right, on bottom, no, no, bottom one, bottom one, down the bottom. That's a stretch. That's it. Thank yeah. you. There we go. Yep, back on the motorbike. Oh, Carl, put the top one on. There we go. Cows are locked away. They got heaps of water, and we got more rain coming. <laughs> 